Okay, so this Blazers player uh, bites on a pump fake. That draws a double team right here. This player has to take this player's man. So that means that this player can't be staring at the ball because he, if Kevin Herter cuts here, he's got to take the cutter. Like, you have to. And that doesn't happen. Okay, this is a disaster. The Blazers are in a zone. You cannot have somebody guarding nobody in the zone. Either this player's got to come into this area here or you got to come to the corner and this player's got to pop up here. But when somebody's guarding nobody in the zone, that means that somebody is leaving somebody in the zone. Okay, if you're Matisse Tybel here, as soon as DeMontes Sabonis crossed the three-point line, you got to start battling for positioning. Like, it starts now, and, like, it's just not happening right now. So look who's got position. Now Sabonis has you sealed. And what does that mean? That means when this shot goes up, who's getting the offensive rebound? Another issue in a zone is when two people are guarding one. This one player guard the ball. This player needs to go here. Uh, this player's got to stay down in here. This player's got to step up here. But again, when two people guard one, that means zero people are guarding another. If you're this Blazers player here, you must sprint back and get in a defensive stance. Backpedaling against De'Aaron Fox like you're seeing him do right now, you're never in a million years going to be able to guard the ball. So that brings a second defender. That leaves Herder open. Come on, I know that this might be difficult, but if you're Drew Eubanks, you got to try and box out Sabonis. I mean, Nazir Little should be trying to box out this player too. Like, there's just too many Blazers. Look at this. There is just, I mean, there's, if no one's boxing out in the paint, I mean... Or even trying to? Okay, so what is this Blazers player doing? Like, I think Drew Eubanks is taking Alex Len. Well, you can't just get back to the middle of nowhere. Get up and ready to guard. Like, look at this. You should be taking this Kings player. You're in the paint. You have no chance. Horrible switch. If you are switching onto the screener, you have to get underneath the screener immediately. Let's take a look if that happens. That is not how you switch. Sprint back. Get in a defensive stance. This is the problem with just backpedaling, because look at this. All you're doing is backpedaling and backpedaling into a screen. Well, this player, you're expecting to switch this screen. Well, he's not, this player hasn't come off any screen yet. You're already switched onto the screener. So now this player's not going to be able to guard Malik Monk. So DeMontes Sabonis gets this rebound. I, I'm, I'm confused here. So where's Nazir Little going? He's taking Sabonis. Why is this player just standing around? Like, you guard. Hey, if you're Drew Eubanks and you're in drop coverage, you got to be in a defensive stance with your feet set because you got to be able to guard the ball, and then if a pass gets made, shift over. You'll have help in the gaps right here. But look at your feet. Look at this. You, your feet are not – you have no chance of shifting over to the ball in this pass. Have to have your feet set in a defensive stance. If not, look what happens. You're going to be leaning uphill. Kevin Herter's going downhill, and you're not going to be able to guard him. Hey, I mean, you can't just be staring at the ball. I guess we'll point out this problem in the play. Like, you're clearly just staring at the ball, not seeing your man. So what is this Blazers player doing? you got to be level to Kevin Herter right here. If Kevin Herter starts to fly off of a down screen here, you're just instant. Look at this. Like, Kevin Herter didn't do anything. He just flew off a down screen, and you were way beneath him to begin with. So you can't guard any of these actions. Okay, this is why you got to keep your back to the baseline at all times. You've always got to be seeing the ball. See, neither of these Blazers players are going to be able to take the ball. So this player's got to get his back to the baseline, right, and with his feet inward, because th these players aren't going to be able to guard the ball. If, look at like right here. You've got to slide in. If your feet are set, you're in a defensive stance. When this player comes this way, you can stunt without moving your feet. That gets the dribble picked up. That is huge, and you will be able to recover, and no three-pointers will be given up. But you cannot backpedal guarding the basketball in the open floor. You got to sprint back. You got to get your feet set. You're never going to be able to guard the ball like this. If your feet are set and you're in a defensive stance right now, this this Demontes Sabonis kind of running into you is not going to matter. But because you were backpedaling, you can see you're playing off your back foot. Now it does matter. And now Harrison Barnes is in the lane. That draws a double. That leaves Herder open yet again. Okay, this is wild. This player is trying to fight over the top of the screen. Why do you just stop guarding? Look at this. Look at this Blazers player. He's just not, he just stops guarding. Why? Keep coming this way. What? what are you doing? If you're switching the screen, it has to be now because you have to get underneath the screener on this switch. You cannot, look at this, this is way too late. Look at Sabonis. I mean, the. 
Again, if you're this Blazers player, you have to sprint over here and transition. Look at this. This is not the effort you're looking for. Look at this effort. You're never getting over. So now look. This pass is being made. Your body momentum is still taking you this way as Keegan Murray's about to come this way. And uh, problem. This is off of a miss. This player, this player, everybody should be sprinting back if they're just staring at the shot. Staring at the shot isn't productive. Because if everybody's doing it, tr transition defense is next to impossible off a miss. This Blazers player is staring at the ball a little too much here. I, I, you have to have some idea of what your man is doing. Uh, like some, like maybe 5% of an idea of what he's doing. Your feet have to be set if you're in the gaps. You also have to have your back to the baseline because now I can see the ball and my man. But again, look at this player's feet. You're moving inward. You have no chance of getting outward to, by the way, deer and fox. Again, it's the same thing. Your feet have to be set. You have to be in a defensive stance away from the ball. This player's feet are not set. He's not in a defensive stance. Look at this ball gets passed. You've barely moved.